Hello lovelies, do you want to know how we achieve these beautiful plants? Okay, just watch this video to the end. We use this for making this emo blouse. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for coming back once again. If today is the first time of stopping into my channel, please endeavor to subscribe. It's free. Thank you so much. So in this blouse that we're about to cut, we're going to need our tape. We need our scissors. We need our calculator. We need a chuck. Then we need a ruler or pattern master. So the next thing is the wording that we'll be using to pad the blouse. Then this is our door face for learning the blouse. Then this is the lace fabric. So let's go. So whenever you want to cut any fabric you have to use the highest body measurement to map out the material so we are going to use the hip measurement to map out the material for this so the hip measurement divided by four plus your desired allowance so we are going to mark the horizontal line starting from the the the, the shoulder line followed by the armhole line that's what i just marked sorry you did not see the upper part sorry about that but if you follow the video you will understand what i'm doing so this is the shoulder to nipple 11 shoulder to under bust 14 and a half then shoulder to half length which is 18. so you have to mark it at the other end so that when you release it, it will give you a very straight line even though this video it may be looking somehow but i tell you it's very accurate so that's just what I'm doing right now. So you just have to use your ruler and then uh, rule it straight. We will not be doing a lot of chalking because this is not pattern paper. The the client came in and we were rushing the clothes. It just came in like a day before and we were rushing the clothes. So I didn't want to start drafting on the pattern paper because it may take a lot of time. So I've gone ahead to roll it and uh, you know this is the horizontal line. I call it okay, I call it horizontal line because of the way it appears in the book. Go and watch my basic body so you understand more. So I've marked the shoulder measurements on the shoulder line. Also, I'm marking the shoulder measurements on the armhole line. So I'm going to divide the bust plus two inches and I'll mark later. I left that place because of the allowance for the princess bust here. So I'm going to mark, I'm going to measure the under bust line on the shoulder to under bust. I'm going to measure the under bust on the shoulder to under bust line, sorry. So I have, I divided it and added two inches as well. So when you measure yourself, you just have to do the division and add your two inch allowance. You may be... 15 you may be whatever just add it to inch allowance for the moment then here is the half length on the half length you divide the half the waist measurement by four and add two inch allowance so that's what i'm just doing right now so on the down part sorry you did not see it but it's just the same procedure just Take the hip measurement because the down part is really going to stop on the hip because it's a blouse. Take the hip measurements, then add two inch sewing allowance to it. So, this is just the bust measurement I measured on the armhole. I'm just trying to repeat myself and also I have to mark it on the shoulder to nipple line then you connect these lines together to get to the down part the next thing you need to do is to connect the armhole you will come down by one inch if you watch my busy body you will see where i did that you come down by one inch and from the one inch you connect to the shoulder measurement on the armhole line just the way i am doing only that the video did not capture that side but it's very simple so I have connected it, you are going to get the midpoint of this line. So the mid, the ammo line is at 18.3. So how do you do it? You just place it on the 18.3, then squeeze it like this so that you open it up and you can know the midpoint. 
so that's just what i mark now then you come in here by half an inch for you to get your arm work off so we are going to use a cord ruler right now to connect to the armhole line that will serve as your armhole curve. So we are now going to connect these lines but because we are now using pattern paper we are not going to connect it. Instead we will do our princess bustle and after then we will now add the desired allowance and connect. So now what I'm doing right now is that I am going to mark the nipple to nipple measurement. Her nipple to nipple is 8 divided by 2 is 4 plus half inch sewing allowance is 4.5. So I will mark the 4.5 all through from the shoulder to nipple line till I get down. So that is what I'm doing right now. So this is from the shoulder to nipple line till I, get, I got down to the hemming line. So, but you need to come up by half an inch. So you just take the line up a bit. You mark half an inch above the shoulder to nipple line and half an inch above below the shoulder to nipple line. So then you connect the half an inch above the shoulder to nipple line to the half to the midpoint of the armhole line. So I don't know if you are seeing it, you just have to connect it. Then after you connect connecting it this way, then you you come down by one inch, then connect it back to the half inch above shoulder to nipple line then this one inch that you came down with look at it as you can see it you have to extend it by two and a half inches then after that you you construct a new arm hole curve with it joining the bust measurements look at the way i did it i don't know if you can see it clearly you just have to join it like that so the next thing that you need to do is uh okay just look at this i'm just trying to explain again so what you need to do now is that's one half inch that you took up above this armhole curve you will also take it in at the under bust now this is shoulder to nipple line and the, the other one i touched last was the under burst line so what we are going to do now is that we are going to mark one and a half inch, one and a half inch towards the side front and one inch at the center front. One and a half inch towards the side front and one inch at the center front, just the one I'm doing. One and a half inch towards the side front and one inch at the center front, both of them forming two and a half inches. So you now have to use your curved ruler and connect it. Please, before you connect it, you come up at the down part by two inches. Remember that it's half allowance. So you come up by two inches. Remember that the down part have allowance. So you now use this your curved ruler to connect it in this way. This is why I like this curved ruler. So after then, it will you will now take a straight line to the two inches that you came off from the hemming line. So just the way you did it, from this uh, half inch above, you connect it to the to the half midpoint of the armhole line. Then maybe English. She's not getting too much. Don't mind me, guys. So let's just keep moving. I don't know if you're getting what I'm trying to illustrate here, but I'm just trying to tell you that at the side front, it should be more than the center front should be less. Now we are taking the allowance that we are going to cut out and we are adding it to the same allowance. So here we added two inches on the armhole line and at the under bust line we added two and a half inches then we still measured what we got down there and then we added it so i just want to illustrate to you how i did this curve yeah this is the midpoint okay so at the midpoint just connect it when you might have come up by one and a half 
inches so it will have a curve so then this is the neckline the neckline is going to be three and a half by three three and a half neckline okay five inches sorry five inches neck depth three and a half neckline five inches neck depth so i've used my ruler to connect it so i'm now going to connect the sh shoulder slant after which i'll add half inch above sorry i'm just this is just like basic body this part is just like the basic bodies that i'm telling you to go and watch do you understand this very well so we're just trying to rush the school because the clients will be coming to pick it any moment as i'm doing this video so here i am just cutting it so that i can use it and cut the lace fabric so it will be easy for me because i don't have time again so this is lace fabric i've already gone ahead to place it on the lace fabric and i've pinned it so that when i'm cutting it will not shake at all look at it i've pinned it it's now very very stiff on the door face so yeah, just i'm just going to cut it look at the way i trim that down part and uh, it's uh, it's just giving me the curve i needed because i pinned it you know the clothes even if you like move it up and down it will not shake so look at the way i'm cutting it i hope you are seeing the way i'm going about this cutting uh, hey look at this ample curve side I hope you saw what I did here. If you did not see it very well, you rewind it so that you can see it very well. So this is this. This is how neat and perfect the cutting is. So I've just look at this because of time. I have to cut it together, and it's very very okay that way. So I am going to draft the back. The back is very simple. It's just the normal way of draft the basic bodies back i didn't want to start doing it princess boss uh, princess that's again let me i'm just going to put a normal that so what i just need to do is to mark the full length of the blouse then you mark the armhole which is c boss divide by 6.6 plus 1.5 so you just have to do the same uh, markings and you get everything just mark your initial line which is the shoulder line then you mark your arm hole then you mark your half length line then you now mark the hemming line plus seam allowance in this video this uh, line may be looking separate but i'm telling you it's very very perfect it's just the way the video was placed that's why it's like this so right now i'm taking in the one and a half inch for zip allowance so i'll go ahead and roll it so that it will be very straight i hope you're getting me if there is anywhere you are confused i can still do a video on another fabric to explain it very well for you if there is a particular design that you want me to to illustrate you can see drop on the comment section remember that if you have not subscribed please try and subscribe so on the armhole line i'm just measuring taking the bust measurement then the waistline on the waistline and or half length i'll take the waist measurement and at the down part sorry it's not showing but i just marked the hip measurement and all i added my two two inch sewing allowance so there is something that i needed to show you guys here okay but i just have to let me cut let me draft the shoulder ample line first before i do this cutting so let me just do the armhole line so this is the armhole line you just have to connect it when it's come down by one inch then you give it a very good curve using your curve ruler as you can see so right now what i'm doing is that i'm getting my neckline for the back and neck depth for the back my neckline for the back remains the same thing with the with that of the front but the neck depth for the back is different so i've gone ahead to connect the shoulder and the shoulder slants and i'll place the front side with it like this 
so I'll print the front side so I can be able to I can be able to cut the the side you know the side is curved so that's what I need to do but before then I will need to get my zip or how will I even call it let me say zip bulge I like to get my zip bulge removed and how do you remove zip bulge you have to take in one inch from the half length I want for this back half length I'll have to come up this is the zip allowance for the neck then for this for this back half length I'll have to come up by one inch as if you did not measure the clients but it's always good you measure the clients so you just have to connect it from this neckline till the down part using your straight ruler so look at the way I am doing it sorry I don't know it's not showing very well but I just connected the neckline and that one inch then I also connected it to the down part so that's it i'm going to add it back i'm going to add that one inch back at the shaping side because if you don't add it back you will have shortage of fabric so you have to you know add back the one inch then connect it from the bust measurement to the hip line so i've gone ahead to trim it is perfect with me so this is just the place that you're taking your dust that's where i'm just taking my dust and i'll be okay with that so i'm going i'm also trimming off that one inch as you can see the curve it gave this uh, pattern it will make the back not to have zip board so right now we are going to cut the flowers we are going to cut the flowers right now that flounce is what we use in making this ruffle. I'm just doing all this video in one, but some people will split it. But I just want you to learn this. I just want you to know that learning all these things are not that difficult. So right now I'm marking the full length of this flounce, which is 26 by 26, and I am here marking the midpoint of this 26 which is 13 so i am i just marked 13 straight away and uh, i'm going to mark um, another 13 inches so that it can give me a perfect square you know in my previous video on how to cut a flounce make sure you watch that video on how to cut a flounce it explains in details so much on how to explain cut a, a flounce and with that you're very good to go as in it will be very easy for you to cut in flounce at any time so right now i'm taking one inches round one inch round dryer one inch round go and watch this video on how to cut the flounce it will be very it was well detailed so right now uh this is the four cardinal points if you watch my first video you know well, I talked about four cardinal points. So on one of the cardinal points, just take one inch above. Then you connect it from another cardinal point, just the way I am doing. So you now mark your length for the flange. So my length for the flange is four inches. I will mark it. Then I also mark it closer so that it will be easy for me to curve. So I will now start going around and start marking the four inches four inches or so so i have to connect it because if i don't connect it it may not give me that easy easy access for me to start covering others
follow the chopped line then you start cutting Look at the way it's flouncing already. I don't know that that English shows. So I cut both the lace and the this thing. So this is me. I've gone ahead to iron the front and I've joined it. So look at how neat it's looking. I have to do it off camera because of time. So I've done it and uh, you know it's beautiful. Look at the way it's looking like a blouse already. So this is the lining. So I've also gonna add to iron stay of the lining, then join the lining as well. So this is it's looking beautiful as well. So I'm gonna use my iron to yeah. So guys, let's move to the next stage. Look at it. I've joined the front with the lining and the inside is looking very neat like very very neat just take a look so right now um, I'm just showing you how to sew this flowers together like in my previous video I did a detailed video on how to make a flowers ruffle sleeve so I'm just placing the lining on top then the lace in between so that at the end I'll just flip it all together so that's just the way to join it to top stitch on it then i will trim it all the accessories i'll trim them out and it will be very 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 perfect so this is it i am now going to flip it over so i'm flipping it over right now just the way i'm doing after then iron it very well give it a good press trying to match the open edges together so that it won't lose in as much as the video is fast I was still rushing the clothes so I can meet up with my client so this is it though this is our flowers is a beautiful flower. Look at it. I'm gonna have to iron and trim out all the excesses. So I'll be going to right now. I'll get, I'll get the sleeve, and then I will, I will first of all merge the sleeve together or place the sleeve together because this particular one was only for one sleeve, but the other one I showed was for the two sleeves so i want it to be on the left sleeve subscribe <laughs> so the one i need i did it was that i notched the midpoint of this sleeve sleeve head <laughs> you know we have sleeve head sleeve cap so i'll just look for any place anywhere i want to fix it i'll just start fixing this round 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 so this is a, a, a this is just like a perfect video for you because it's it just gave you everything that you need so look at the way i am going about it i'm just going to be sewing it round round as i'm sewing i may be doing a little plating or whatever 
The only thing is just try and be very creative. Try, you can use your own to do anything. Just try to be creative, okay? subscribe 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 click on the notification bell okay as you can see it's it's coming out perfectly fine right now look at look at how beautiful it is already looking i have not even attached it to the to the blouse so guys you should have watched to this extent i just want to thank you very much for always stopping by to watch my video and remember that i'm always here to give you the best the best is always the best so thank you so much for watching this is the end of our tutorial and this is how it appeared very neat very fine and uh, i couldn't snap the woman that uh, I made this particular white blouse for because she came very late and I couldn't snap it and you know it, it was very beautiful on her but I made another blouse that I used it look at how it's looking here looking very sharp here as well the woman loved it subscribe if you have not please subscribe subscribe